I've never heard of a wig factory, but I'm sure they have them, right? <laughs> Wigs are always kind of crazy, man. They're usually funny. People just put them on and stuff like that. But the name of this video is Hide and Seek at the Wig Factory. And it kind of gets me thinking around the same lines as like a wax museum, which are pretty freaky if you've ever been to one. So this is what I'm looking forward to. This one's by Wansy Entertainment, guys. Make sure to subscribe to him and me if you like reaction videos. And let's get into this one. It happened when I was seven years old. Okay. There was a small wig factory in my neighborhood, and lots sure. of hair was always rolling around in front of the factory. Hair. I could see lots of men and women busily carrying boxes into the car. Okay. In addition, mannequin heads were scattered around the factory. Of course. So I sometimes played with them, kicking like a soccer ball. That's... <sighs> However, <laughs> at some weird, point, man. the people who were busy working at the wig factory were not seen and there were many days when the shutters were always closed okay one day when i was walking by the factory with my mom she looked at the closed factory and said they said wigs don't sell very well these days yeah i guess they're going to close the factory huh okay a few days later i was that playing hide and seek with my friends in the neighborhood until dinner time business it was a long winter day so it was already dark right. and i who was a tagger couldn't find one of my friends when I finally gave up, he showed up and said he was hiding in the wig factory. Ah. How did you get in when the shutters were closed? When you go to the back of the door, there's a pile of boxes on the wall, and, and you can step the on window. them and go yeah. in through the window. Ah. There was a shelf under the window, so you could step on it and come back out. I thought it was a good idea. Huh. And as soon as the next tagger was decided, I ran to the factory with one friend. Right. It was very easy to step on the box and go inside, as he said. Sure. The moonlight came through the window so we could see inside the factory. Wow, man. Mannequin heads with wigs on them were lined on the shelves. That has to be really Since creepy they were all at looking night. at the wall, we could only see the back of the mannequin's head. Okay. Now that I think about it, I would have been chilled to see all the black hairs. Heck yeah. But it would have been no big deal for a seven-year-old who was just distracted by hide and seek. Sure, sure. So me and my friend waited but it for the tagger, to me. <laughs> giggling with each other. But there was no sign of him when time went by. Right. We eventually came out of the window again and decided to play one last game before going to dinner. Okay. I became a tagger again this time. Okay. After counting ten, I went around looking for my friends, and finally, the last two were left. Uh -huh. I grinned and headed straight to the wig factory. You knew they were going to be there. And as I pushed my face through the window. Uh huh. I won't be fooled twice. I know you're there, so get out of there. I went to the window to find friends who didn't answer. Right. And then I felt something different from before. Uh-oh. One of the heads of the mannequin oh, no. who were all looking at the wall was looking at me. That's creepy, dude. The moment I made but it's eye a mannequin, contact right? with it, I felt like my whole body was electrocuted. And my heart dropped because the mannequin had a torso, unlike other mannequins. Oh, it was I a was person so up there. I was that I started screaming and crying, but no one came to see me. Or was it a mannequin or a person? they didn't hear me. The mannequin was constantly shaking from side to side or moving little by little. Oh, was he hung? In place. When I came to my senses, I took the courage to come closer to it. Somebody and I could see its face was very pale. Oh, somebody and the eyes did suicide, y'all. It, it was, was a an dead old body. man. He was hanging from the ceiling wow. on the pillar next to the shelf. Can and you his imagine face and his body were discovering this as, as a turned. seven year old kid? Being surprised, I immediately left the window and ran home crying. Dang. I told my parents all the truth as soon as I arrived. Sure. And they also reported to the police immediately. Was it the wig factory serious. guy? Like the owner of the business? My dad, who went to the factory, kept comforting me in case I was terrified and shocked. Sure. However, I ended up suffering from what happened that day as a nightmare for a fairly long time. I guess so, man. Later, according to the conversation of the elders in the neighborhood, the wig factory was suffering from financial difficulties. Mm -hmm. And the owner the of owner the factory, was who was in debt because of it, eventually closed the factory that day and hung himself. Wow. And a suicide note was also found nearby. The corpse I saw for the first time Crazy, in my immature man. days gave me a mental trauma. 
Oh, I guess so. And after that, I could no longer watch the scene that people Talk hang themselves PTSD, in movies man. or dramas. Sure. Even now. Man. As a seven-year-old kid, coming up on a dead human body has to be... Has to... God dang, that'll score you for life. I've, I've seen a couple of traumatic things in my years and never as a kid, right? But like a couple of violent acts in person. And when you see stuff like that, it follows you for so long. It's so hard to get out of your head. You keep replaying the situations over and over and over again for the coming weeks. You have nightmares about it. It's that's some real stuff, man. Whew, for a seven year old too. God. Yo, this was some good story. This was a good story. Wines the Entertainment, man. Make sure to subscribe to him as well as me if you like reaction videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. We'll see you next time.